your goal inside your relationship is to fulfill your woman's intimate desires. I know some of you guys are in a relationship and you've been in it for a while or you may be looking to start one. I'm telling you right now, there are so many women that are in relationships that just wish their man knew how to be better in bed or be more intimate or help them reach the O. And you're not focusing on it anymore. You somewhere lost the focus. It's probably because you fell in love. Because when you're in love, that don't mean you're passionate. And women want passion. And so you're in a relationship right now. I'm telling you, step your game up, guys. Your woman wants the passion. And it's only going to benefit you more. Because realistically, when you get into a relationship with a woman, as a guy, we generally want to have long-term access to that woman's body. Let's just be real. However, it doesn't make sense that you want long-term access to someone's body, but once you get her, you don't pay attention to her body. You don't try to figure out her body. You don't try to figure out what makes her feel the best. So therefore, your intimacy that you're going to get from her is going to go down because you're not fulfilling anything for her in that regard. So yes, sometimes you may have the intercourse together and it, it is what it is, but hear me out, man. You have to start putting a little bit more focus on how much is she getting out of this like actual pleasure. You got to start switching that focus over so much that you want to make it seem like you're going to be the best experience that she can ever get overall when it comes to intimacy. So it's more than just you trying to enter her. And that's what you got to learn. You got to have a realistic conversation with your woman and figure out, hmm, what are some of the fantasies and things that you want to get into that we hadn't done yet? And a lot of guys forget about this. Once you get into a relationship, you get in like three years or something, you can't even talk to her like that. Y'all arguing so much and you don't even notice sometimes the reason that you're arguing with your woman so much, because she actually despises the fact that you are lacking aggression in the bedroom. You're not even trying. They feel like you don't put in enough effort to even actually please them. They would feel a lot more connected to you if you maxed out how much effort you could put in the intimacy also. Because most men think women just want dates. And that's only in the beginning stage when they just need to know that you're invested in them. But once you're in a relationship, they rather have great intimacy. They want to reach the O, like I said. And guys, you're kind of forgetting that as you're going along. It's not all, but I'm telling you, so many women that have actually expressed us that you would not believe it. And it's always the women in relationships. I'm talking marriages, have boyfriends. These women hate the fact that their men, they will say things, things like, oh, well, he's not that sexual and I don't know what's going on. Or I just don't like how it ends up. He's always just getting his and then rolling over and it's 10 minutes and that's it. And there's no foreplay, all these things. And you think it's just OK because he's staying with you. This is how a lot of women end up straying because they can easily meet. Some guy that has a little bit more aggressive or more masculine energy, have a little bit more sexual confidence, kind of like me, I'm not going to brag, but it makes it so much easier for a guy like me to impress a woman when guys in relationships are not even caring. You just think just because you got the woman, you don't have to impress. You don't have to do anything. I would say, trust me, it will make all of your experiences in the bedroom more beneficial for you. The more you can mentally stimulate your woman, the more you can get out of her long term. Trust me. I've had plenty of experiences and the ones that have been the most impressed with me and my the, the way that I treat them uh, all as far as like foreplay and getting into the whole the whole interaction. They can tell I have experience because it's not something they come around. And they even tell me what most guys do. They'll say most guys only do the jackhammer thing and they don't know that that's not what we're all looking for. Or it'll be the opposite. Some guys are so like 
I don't know. It's like you're so emasculated that you're scared to actually do anything aggressive with the woman, even when she's telling you. I've heard women tell me exactly what they want their man to do. And they say, well, he's scared to do it or he's not like that. And it, it could be something simple. I just want him to decorate me like a toaster strudel at the end. And he's too afraid to do it. Why would you want your woman to have that fantasy just linger in her head? Why would you want her to have it linger in her head and think that this man will never satisfy it, even though I told him what it is? Don't you think that makes it a little bit easier that if someone ever, you know, if she ever strayed just a little bit and some guy knew about that or showed the right level of energy showing that he is confident enough to just do something like that, you can see how someone can start to stray now because they're like, oh man, this is actually a more masculine quality. This guy has a level of sexual aggression that I could I could get with. I can get behind that. And then they start trying to see if they can qualify that type of guy for other things that could fill your shoes. Why would you leave that opening there? Plus, remember the fact that you, when you got with your woman, most guys specifically do not want their woman to sleep with another man. So if you don't want them to sleep with anyone else, why wouldn't you try to be one of the best that they ever slept with? You see how that's that's kind of messed up, right? That you're not going to put in that much effort. And yes, it does go twofold. Like that does happen on the other side with guys and women too. Like sometimes guys um, will get in a relationship and the woman doesn't put out the effort anymore or they're just... The frequency goes down. We know that is very common too. But the, the main thing I'm talking about is for guys, the only thing you can worry about is what you can put out. And I'm telling you, if you, you learn how to put out good customer service, you're going to usually get a good return on that investment in this area. That's one thing that's almost a guarantee because since this is so rare and that they can't get it everywhere, they're going to be more eager to engage with you because they're gonna be like man no other guy has ever put in this much effort no other guy was able to make me feel this way and that's why it's the best part especially once you're married because it's like wow the guy that i married was literally the best best one that i could get in many different areas not just because he's financially stable and he's fit and he takes care of me and the house and the children whatever also on top of that he helps feel fulfill my fantasies that I never thought I'd fulfill. I thought I'd have to watch movies and books for the rest of my life to just fantasize about some of these things, but I don't have to when I have a man that's confident enough, he has a level of a certain amount of aggression or masculinity that he will take the lead and try to help me into, help me embrace my fantasies and my desires. And that's what mind shift you gotta have, guys. You gotta shift your mind into let me go stronger in this direction for my relationship because what's the whole point why are you why do you want them not to cheat on you if you're not even going to put in this effort in this area this doesn't even make sense you you just locking them down for a companion like what that's all you wanted was a friend that's weird because i know biologically the way we're wired that's not really the main reason that we get into these relationships. So if you're going to get into a relationship you want that woman locked down for a reason you don't want her to sleep with another guy for a reason but be as much as you can the best reason for her to never even want to sleep or have some desire fulfilled because you're not willing to you're too scared to you're too passive to fulfill those things be somebody that's more aggressive and takes the lead and kind of shows her hey yeah i'm willing to do different things whatever it takes what are some things that are on your mind that you got to talk to her she will tell you trust me she will tell you, but you just don't know how to talk to her. You're probably scared of your woman. You got to fix that, man. We're going to go more into that on another video about how to fix you being scared of your woman so much that you can't even take control anymore. It's a huge problem in relationships. But that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe.